I threw him my general is standing fight over here just to try and support these units, but he's sending it. Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh my god, that is so painful to watch. What is up, guys? Today we have a couple of multiplayer battles featuring me, your dishonorable Daimyu, against Heli the Unbeatable, the Undefeated. Starting out with my army, the Otomo, with a very gun heavy build. A very gun heavy build, plenty of matchlock, actually, a matchlock samurai and Portuguese tercios. A total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that's eight units of guns. And interestingly, some Naginata samurai. I almost never go for Naginata samurai, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you why I did that in a while. Versus your typical um, Ashigaru. Your typical Ashigaru heavy build, a heavy eco build with some matchlock warrior monks. So he brought some guns to match my own. Along with some Naginata warrior monks. While throwing all of his experience on to Lone Sword Ashigaru. So he has a very, very sturdy build morale wise. And he's throwing his cavalry into the... He's sending his cavalry over into... He's sending his cavalry over into the... Trees... And I have my own cavalry units here hidden who have been hidden from the very start of this battle. And I'm going to try to make them work. I'm going to try to make them work. I initially I initially placed them in this area over here um, in case he sent any cavalry attempting to flank around. So his cavalry, my, my plan was if his cavalry came around in this section, I would swamp them with my cavalry on one front while opening fire with my guns. And then probably swarming in with even more cavalry to quickly win that fight. But uh, so far, he is concentrating what little cavalry he has. He has only... Oh, and it's starting. It's starting. It is starting. He's targeting my Portuguese Tercios with superior range. The superior range of uh, Matchlock Warrior Monks. He just popped extended range. So they now have, I think it's 125 or 150. I'm not sure. So I am pulling back. I'm pulling back behind this hill, this little hill over here. This is going to give me cover from all of these uh, these guns. And this is the, the line of sight is going to play a very important part in the rest of this battle. It's going to it's going to play a very, very important part in the rest of this battle. And this is what happens when you have when you implement guns with just like very basic line of sight. This is such a simple, such a straightforward mechanic, such a straightforward mechanic. That adds so much to the game. Just the simple mechanic where you you take it for granted, but then you see a game like Warhammer doesn't even that that guns fire in an arc. Even here, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We are we are within range, but this this tiny crest over here is blocking them, and then the the dojo itself, the shrine. We are trying to contest the shrine over here. This is the shrine, and Eco love having the shrine because not only do they have strong morale. Right outside of the box, they have, they have, they, they're going to get even better morale if they have this. So he's hiding his cavalry over here, supported by Naginata warrior monks, a very, very uh, monk heavy build. Four units of Naginata warrior monks protecting his flanks. And I'm currently like... Uh, Mulling over what to do right now. I have no idea. Like it's a it's a Mexican standoff over here. We have just neutralized the dojo. It's controlled by me currently, but he's trying to neutralize it. So I currently have the bonus, but not for long. And I'm just making sure to keep my tercios out of firing range. Just some maneuvering over here. Just an initial an initial exchange that did not go well for my part. And that's not very good because as the eco, they already have a huge numbers advantage and morale advantage. And you, you don't want to you don't want to lose lives like that. You don't want to lose lives for nothing. You lose men for nothing. You, you don't want to you don't want to lose lives like that. You don't want to lose lives for nothing. You lose men for nothing. And I'm bringing Naginata Samurai because I, I just I'm already going to have to micro my guns just to make sure they have a line of sight. So I don't want to have to micro. I do not want to have to micromanage Yachty Wall. Make sure they're in Yachty Wall. And now we have a bit of an exchange going on over here. Yep, these Tercios not doing too well. These Portuguese questioning their own life decisions right now. What brought them here? They're getting gunned down by some angry monks, wielding guns, wielding guns. And I decide I'm gonna, I decide I am going to advance over here. 
And I'm just gonna charge him down. I'm gonna stop him from firing. And this is the thing that with Naginata Samurai, there are one there are one advantage is getting nullified over here. And they're gonna get charged. I think this is a Yachty Wally if they got charged into Yachty Wall. So I just wanted to stop them from firing. I just wanted to stop these units from firing, but I still think they have some sort of line of sight. And that's the thing. And now I've charged my own cavalry. I'm charging my own cavalry supported by Naginata Samurai into this cavalry fight. Into this cavalry fight, and let's see how this goes. Got some, got some, uh, got some gunfire going in here down this channel over here. This channel on this side, getting decent kills. Finally, finally, our our kill tallies are going up to a decent degree, and we're gonna we're gonna have another firefight. This is gonna be mostly firefights with uh, matchlock warrior monks. That is sweet. And I'm now feeding... I'm trying to feed everything I have into this fight over here. Even the matchlock samurai. I don't know why... I don't know why I, this was a misclick over here. And I threw in the matchlock samurai as well. But this went terribly. This... This uh, this you can tell has gone terribly over here. And I've lost... I even managed to lose the cavalry fight. I, I was just getting really impatient. And now I'm finally getting my cavalry... And now I'm finally getting my cavalry involved... On this end, the hidden cavalry, I decide, you know, I have to, this is not going to work out. I need to do something. I'm going to try and take, I'm going to try and take as many kills as I can possibly get while this line is getting overrun. Just defense in depth. Just get defense in depth going over here. Our general has been injured, my lord. He lived. Not going down without a fight. I am not going down without a fight over here. <laughs> ah, that's Portuguese. Poor Portuguese. Routing. Everyone's routing. But these uh, these matchlock samurai are still are still firing. They're still staying in. They're still in the game. They're still in the game. I think we're gonna take out one unit of Naginata Warrior Monk cavalry. Yeah, that did. My ploy just did not work out well. My, my Naginata samurai ploy just did not work out well. I did not expect them to bring guns to bring guns as the eco. I, I expected them to go rather uh, melee heavy. But uh, such is my fate. The Portuguese lose on this day. Losses. Yeah, uh, even a, a lot of my men survived and many of them just routed. It was just a chain route, especially after my general died. I put my general there forward, you know, bravely and it didn't really go that well. Otomo matchlock samurai I didn't get a single kill. This, this gun build completely failed. But even even Heli had some of his units never get involved over here, so it was mostly it was mostly a battle of the guns, I guess. And mostly the battles of the guns, the guns, the guns dealing the most kills while also uh, controlling the pace of battle. Alrighty, guys, we are now on Osaka Plain, Tokugawa versus Iko, and I messed up my deployment a bit. I went and and drag clicked because Heli was not was not. Pressing ready, and I was just waiting for him. I'm bringing Hansel's shadows, who were discovered right away. Discovered them right away. Just imagine. He discovered them right away, and now his cavalry are gonna are gonna take him out. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even though these are ninjas, even though these are ninjas, they're still they're still gonna do amazing. Yep. They're still gonna do amazing in combat, even in even when getting charged down by cavalry, because I believe, just like all other hero units, they have an extra hit point, so they can basically take two death blows before they die, or I mean one death blow on the next one actually kills them on like most units, and they've already dealt, I, they already have a positive KD ratio, they already have a positive kill death ratio. It's funny, against cavalry. Okay, right, and we got and we got fire rockets going on over here. We got some, we got some fire rockets exploding. Everything is just exploding. They went for my mounted gunners. I didn't realize he brought two fire rockets and that's against our rules over here. Okay, I put the rules there a month ago. Only one fire rocket allowed in an army. But he's, Heli, Heli's breaking rules. And he's, so he's already lost the match in spirit. Ah. So what I'm doing in response, and my ninjas, my ninjas are still in the back over there doing really well. They've, they've lost, they haven't even lost half the units and they've taken like 55 horsemen with them. 
I'm bringing in my 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 bow samurai into the water. The water is going to uh, muffle a lot of the fire rocket volleys. And we're uh, giving some return fire to his fire rockets. Still did a decent amount of damage, but even more if he didn't have that. And then he has his own Kisho ninja on this end. We have a bunch of ninjas that just they're just walking here merrily and they actually got discovered somehow. I don't know how, but I was going to charge my cavalry in and then I'm like, no, 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 actually, 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 I'm not going to do that. Or maybe I will. And then I decided to pull out. You know what? I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to bother charging my cavalry in to beat these guys. We'll just bring in the mounted gunners. Our men are running from the battlefield. And that is the uh, Hanzo's Shadows unit, just completely gone. Complete, complete waste. And they get some mounted gunner fire. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah! I'm gonna pull him out now. Oh, look! I'm gonna pull him out. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. They are routing, but they will return to the battle. And this fire rocket, this whole fire rocket salvo thing is still going on over here. They've used up a lot of ammunition, even though they have the archery dojo, but he has to he has to run them there to actually replenish the ammunition. So all of these are all of these are costing him. All of these shots are costing him. And decide, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cross, I'm I'm gonna cross and charge down this cavalry over here. Probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. Both, both of us had our charges nullified for the most part, thanks to the water. But we are doing quite well in the fight. Great guard against light cavalry. Just typical eco, eco cavalry weakness. And I'm also rushing in my Yari Ashigaru to try and sandwich them. But the water, this is the thing with this map. The water just, you have to commit. You have to commit to, move, to every move you make. And I'm bringing in the mounted gunners to, to support. You have to commit to every move you make on this map because the water is just slowing you down. You can't second guess yourself and pull back. These cavalry units are routing, but they are probably... I think they're going to return to the fight. Some of them are going to return to the fight, and that's going to be bad. Because they're, they're probably going to come into my rear. Fire rockets. More fire rocket salvos, but I have my units... I have I have my units partially sheltered by the trees, so... We, we, took, we took 10 losses. It would have been much, much greater if it wasn't for the trees over here. And he's for some reason, he for some reason sent out his general. And uh, that seemed like a misclick. I don't know. He probably he probably had his cavalry all grouped together and, and gave them a group attack order and didn't realize his general was in the fight as well. Uh, decided to send in mounted gunners to, you know, wear down these units. The, even if the fire rockets, I believe even if the fire rockets attempt firing, there's not enough of an arc. There's a really bad angle on this section of the map they need they need a sort of parabolic arc and he's trying to uh, surround my units surround my army i have the morale dojo or the shrine but if, if he's just gonna sit back and pelt me with fire rockets it's not really gonna do much trying my best to force a fight he is probing trying to go for the nodachi samurai but i have one unit of yari ashigaru on this end and some of his cavalry units have Rallied, just sitting there. I'm also... Yeah. L look at that. Some of the rockets... S some of the rockets are, 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 aren't able to crest this hill. S some of the rockets aren't even able to crest this hill, but that, that, wasn't, that wasn't enough to save the overall unit. So I lost both units of mounted gunners. Got 129 kills. 120, uh, one unit got 129. The other, the other got 13, so one of these was heavily underutilized. And as the Tokugawa, you want to preserve, you want to preserve your mounted gunners as as long as you can. If the entire fight ends, but you just have two mounted gunners left, you can you can do something, you can force something. And now we have Nodachi Samurai charging in with Banzai into Yari Wall, into an e into Eco Yari Wall. Cavalry doing their thing, still trying to ward them off with Yari Ashigaru in the background. Well, I'm charging in my own cavalry on this end. Trying, I'm just trying so hard to use the trees as cover. Trying, trying so hard to use the trees as cover and then I pull back. These units are all wavering. 
This is basically Pickett's charge. Just me getting impatient all the time. Bringing some bow samurai because I, I, I thought they would be more effective than match locks on this map overall. Especially if I'm trying to force a fight. I threw in my general to stand and fight over here just to try and support these units, but he's sending it. Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh my god, that is so painful to watch. This is this is why this is why we ban double fire rockets. I don't care how expensive they are. I, I don't care how expensive they are. They have so much range and they control so much space on the battlefield when you have two of them and they just obliterate cavalry units. They can obliter obliterate an entire cavalry arm and have ammo with a spare. That's why we ban them, boys. One fire rocket, that's all you get. Heli won by cheating. It's definitely it's definitely not me. It's definitely not me mismanaging all my units. Heli, Heli won by cheating. As he, as 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 is his wont. As is his uh, tradition. It did not go very well. And I popped I popped Banzai. I popped Banzai on these Nodachi samurai. I, I popped Banzai in this Nodachi Samurai just to keep them in the fight for a bit longer. Same thing is gonna happen over here. I think I have a Nodachi Samurai. I did not pop Banzai in the scenes. I might I think I'm gonna pop Banzai at the very last second. Or perhaps that unit's gonna route. I don't know. Our men are running from the battlefield! A shameful display! And I popped Banzai right in the army. Right in the army was about, you know, just screw you, Heli, and I popped Banzai. Just to just to just to be a nuisance. Just to take as many of them as I can. He's throwing in he's throwing in whatever he can just to finish off this unit. Probably getting really frustrated. Such honorable men fighting for their master. Fighting bravely, throwing uh, while everyone is routed. Everyone else is routed, but they still stand. They have they have kept in the fight. And never mind. They are out. They are out of the fight. And that is it. And that there we have it, friends. That is it. That is it. Costly enemy victory check these unit stats on this end and now mike is not gonna ang get angry because he can actually see things so on my side i actually did a lot better this time i have multiple units multiple units above 100 kills so does heli of course of course the ones topping the charts are fire rockets this is why we ban fire rockets multiple fire rockets only one fire rocket per per army thank you so much for watching guys if you want to join in all the fun you can hop onto discord um Throw in, you know, throw in your multiplayer replays or just find other people to play with and then save your replays and send them away and can get featured in the series. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely appreciate the support. You can hop onto Discord and join in all the fun. We talk about everything gaming and non-gaming related. Find people to play games with. You can also uh, hop onto my Patreon, support the channel. I definitely appreciate the support and get access to exclusive videos. And you can also check out the merch store. Get your own branded merch caps, beanies, bottles, water bottles over here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.